this tutorial I wanted to present the MIDI options you have with the rhythm. Basically the idea is that you can connect a MIDI controller to um, your rhythm application. You can enable your controller when click on devices. And you can see that I have connected my nano control via Bluetooth. I will just select that one. Um, it turns green, which means that it's connected and um, selected. And now I can just click on mapping. Um, here it explains what we have to do, but I will also explain it in the video. Um, you can see your current mapping on the right side, which says which MIDI keys are mapped to which parameters. And another thing which you may notice is that all these um, parameters in the menu got a little red box around it. That means that they are all mappable and you can just assign them to certain MIDI knobs or MIDI buttons or MIDI sliders. Um, just for example, I will go for the vignette. I will click on that one, it turns green, and now I use my MIDI controller and turn a certain knob. I will just move it a little bit and you can see that with them recognized that knob 13 was moved and it now mapped the knob 13 on my MIDI controller to the vignette effect. And that's basically it. And when I click on done and I turn the knob on my MIDI controller once again, you can see that the vignette is changing and that's pretty cool. You can also do it without the user interface enabled and you can map every effect and every mode parameter to MIDI knobs and MIDI sliders and there are some things which are important to mention because um, there are different ways to um, adjust things. When I click on map again um, you can see that we have a lot of slider parameters. Um, the vignette or the kaleidoscope segments that is just a float value which you can adjust when turning a knob or a slider. But we also have some toggles. Um, when I go for a toggle, for example when I go for the color bloom, I can just say that I wanted to map it to a button, to a MIDI button. When I click on that button, you can see that the um, that rhythm has detected that button and when I now click on done you can see that whenever I press the button the color bloom got enabled and when I release the button again the color bloom got disabled. That's the idea of mapping toggle parameters to buttons with your MIDI controller and you can also map toggle parameters in rhythm to knobs or sliders on your MIDI controller. Let's say I wanted to go for the color bloom once again and now I use a knob on my MIDI controller. I just turn that knob, knob number 13, and when I click on done, the idea is that um, currently my slider is turned down and when I turn it up a little bit, you can see that because it's also mapped to the vignette. When I turn it up and it reached the middle, when it, um, when it goes higher than the, the middle um, of the knob, then the color bloom got enabled. And when I go back and it has less than 50% turned on, then the toggle parameter turns off. So that's basically the idea behind that one. So you can also use sliders and knobs on your MIDI controller to um, map it to toggle parameters and whenever more than 50% of your uh, potentiometer of your slider of your knob is um, turned on, then the toggle parameter turns on, otherwise it turns off. And another pretty cool thing is that you can also map list parameters in rhythm. For example, a pretty cool thing is that we can go for the backgrounds. Oh, I just need to select the particle background to show you that one. Or better go for the space background. That's even more cool. Um, I will go for the MIDI, MIDI section again, click on mapping, and then I will go for the background again. And now I can click on that space here. 
um, that is a list with different space backgrounds. And the pretty cool thing about um, Wither is that you can map these, um, this list, for example, um, to a knob or a slider on your MIDI controller. When I just turn my slider on the MIDI controller, it got mapped to the space background list. When I click on done, and when I turn my slider a little bit, um, the background changes. And it goes through the whole list. So when I click on background again, um, you can see that the first entry is selected at the moment because I have uh, my slider is all the way down. And when I move it upwards a little bit, um, the different things in my list got selected. And when I'm at the highest position of my slider, then the last entry in that list got selected. And that's pretty cool. Gives you a lot of flexibility. And that's it so far for the MIDI mapping. So basically when you click on mapping, a lot of uh, things are getting these um, red borders and when you click on a certain one and move uh, something on your MIDI controller, Wither will detect that you wanted to map a certain knob on your MIDI device or a certain button to a certain parameter and that will be saved. You can see the mapping here in that list on the right side and when you are done, you click on the done button and when you don't like your mapping anymore and you want to start with a new one, you can just click on delete mapping. And now when I go for mapping again, you can see that this list is empty again and you can start with a fresh new mapping. That's the whole idea of this um, MIDI mapping thing in Rhythm. And I guess it's pretty cool to just play around with it by yourself, um, seeing what parameters you can map and how it feels to map them to certain knobs or sliders on your MIDI controller. That's pretty cool. You can have a lot of fun with it. And I guess it is a good opportunity to um, make it useable for a lot of different purposes. So you can just blend out the user interface, map the effects you like to certain MIDI knobs, and then you can control everything in Rhythm just with the MIDI controller. And you don't see the user interface, but the whole visualization. That's it so far for the MIDI um, mapping tutorial. Hope you have learned something new, how to use um, MIDI with Rhythm, and wish you a lot of fun with uh, playing around with it.